All right, so today on the Fix or Repair Daily, good old Ford F-250, we're going to be replacing the cam shaft position control sensor. Cam, cam shaft position sensor. Cam shaft, I think it's cam shaft position sensor. I think that's what it's called. And so first of all, we gotta locate it and then replace them. There's two of them and yeah, so let's go. So I have no idea where this thing is actually located at on the motor. So we got to find it. And as you can tell, there's stuff everywhere. Napa was the only place that had it in stock. I called seven or eight places. Napa was the way to go. This is what it looks like. So now we just gotta find this on that. I literally have no idea where these things are located at. Not the slightest idea. I think what we'll do is we'll pull off all this intake stuff here, and then maybe we'll have better luck of seeing what we're working with. All right, so we're just gonna pull pull off all this stuff and try to get this intake. Oh, that's nice and crusty. So there's a hose clamp down in here. You can use a flathead, or it's probably like an eight mil socket. Oh, jeez. There we go. There's this hose clamp right here. Wonder how long that thing was sitting down in there. That's supposed to be right here. So I decided to just take off this fan shroud and all that so it just give us a whole lot more room to work. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to let you know you do not need to take off the fan shroud or the fan to replace the cam shaft position sensors on the 6.2 Ford motor. Room to work and find these goofy sensors. But it's pretty easy. There's just a few bolts. Just undo the bolts. Maybe we'll show putting it back together. Actually, I have a video on uh, replacing the water pump on my F250. So if you look at that video, you will see taking this out and putting it back in. I believe last time, I believe I used a pipe wrench just to break it loose. Shouldn't be extremely tight. See, like, it doesn't want to just pop. Let me get a hammer and just tap it and see if that helps. If you have a long air chisel, that would actually work really well because you can just get it right on that. You just need to bust it loose, and then as soon as you bust it loose, it's real easy to come off. See, right? We just had to bust that loose, and as soon as it busts loose, it just turns right off. But it was just getting that right angle on that nut right there. Just gotta get the right pressure as soon as it busts past that. Just comes right off. Probably gonna get all done doing this and realize that we didn't actually have to take all this stuff off of here. All right. All right, I forgot there's still two bolts in the bottom of the, underneath of that shroud that they need to come out as well.
we still have not found those stupid camshaft position sensors on the motor. I'm embarrassed. We've spent more time than I care to say looking for them and still haven't found them. So anyways, after getting rust and dust in our eyes and everything else, we decided it was time to take a Dunkin' Donuts coffee break. So now we're driving one hour one way to get Dunkin' Donuts. Run the red light. Told you we were gonna run the red light. Give me an extra large hot coffee with cream and vanilla swirl. No, can I get anything else? Yeah, then I need a medium iced coffee with cream, sugar, and vanilla. Okay. Actually, give me two of those. All right. And that'll be it. I think I finally found it after tearing apart half my dang truck. I think it's way back here in the back. All right, so I believe right here, right there. There it is. Right as the rain starts falling. What a stupid, stupid spot. Wow, that is frustrating. I spent three hours looking for that thing. So now we just gotta get this thing to go back in there. I can't see anything. Okay, where's the hole? Okay, right there. All right, so even though you can't see it, I got the new one in and now I'm just tightening up the screw. That ticks me off so much. Like I searched, searched and searched. I looked on YouTube, I looked on Google. I mean, I searched and couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything. Finally, I found a form that I found this really crappy picture and um, that crappy picture was what led me to look back here instead of on the front all the other motor all the like the old five fours and the four sixes and all that stuff it was all right here in the front so it was nice easy to get to simple so of course I ended up tearing off the fan shroud the fan took off the serpentine belt I did all of that because I'm thinking this thing's staring me right in the face and I'm just overlooking it. But it sure wasn't staring me in the okay, face. So it's way back in here. So I clearly wouldn't have had to take off any of this crap. But, live and learn. So, there's thunder in the background. It's raining. It's, I just talked to my wife. She's a couple minutes away. It's pouring down rain over there. You can't even see. So we just cleaned everything up. And uh, I'll put the other sensor in after the rainstorm. But, no need to film all that. Don't want to be monotonous and boring. If this video was a help, smash the old like button subscribe 0.5 of you are subscribed to my channel it would be awesome it would be awesome if we got a few more likes but anyways I didn't find any other videos on YouTube on how to do this so hopefully hopefully this video helps a lot of people out